Sean Strickland shocked the world, man. Did you watch the fight last night? Did you see first round? He, I thought Adesanya was out. I mean, I can't believe he came back from that round. But then he was backing up all, all the way. They said going into the fifth round, he had to knock him out to win. And he just didn't bring it. I, I thought he had a really bad fight. His face was, face was all blown up. And Sean Strickland, who was not even supposed to be give it a shot. He'd been two into his last four fights like an everyman, what did he say? He said, I've given more brain cells to the UFC than I know. You know, I mean, he's, this is a guy who, like, you know, I mean, I mean, he said he's fought. He's got his ass kicked. He's won fights. He said if he wasn't fighting, he'd be in prison. He grew up in a bad situation. And he's a success story. I mean, I, hey, Lon has joined us. We're watching Red Zone. But the fight last, it was great. It was great. It, it, it was it was great to see. I don't think the fight was great per se, but to see Sean Strickland give it a shot and then take advantage. And his corner guy was saying, come on, we don't want a, a, a bullshit decision. We want you to win this goddamn game. Let's make it happen. Let's get it done. And I was like, all right. He came. He saw it kick some ass. I mean, a lot of awesome things. Texas is back. The U blew out Texas A&M. UNC won an overtime over over Appalachian State. And everybody's like, you know, now Drake May's not quarterback too. You know what? One guy said the best thing. They said, who's your top 10? Too early, too early for, to uh, t- after two weeks to decide our top 10. It's too early. And yes, Lon, it is happy new football year. And what I see, Calvin Ridley, who sat out all last season, had a touchdown catch for the Jags. I, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, and, and think about this. The Jets and Giants are opening up in prime time. They're both home. They're both dogs they're both underdogs in their games you got the Giants tonight I didn't know this but Dak Prescott is 10 and 0 when he starts for the Cowboys against the Giants that means the streak has to end now he has started eight straight openers the most among active players and this is a straight op- start on opening ga- opening day where the Colts have had seven different quarterbacks start in the last seven years and you have a record 14 black quarterbacks starting opening day that this year NFL week one. I mean, Justin. I saw, I saw Justin Jefferson make a catch. Michael Thomas, back back from the dead. So today we did the the uh, the Susan J. Coleman walk for breast cancer. Poured. And you can either do 1, 1.75 miles or you can do 3.5. So I ran it. Michigan ran and said go. And we got destroyed. Destroyed in the rain. Destroyed. But then we, there's a Bread's Bakery, and they make a challah bread, which is amazing. But I decided, we're, we're in there, and this lady goes, hey, we got this thing. It's an apple challah. I go, what? And it, it's this. And I was like, holy shit. I was like, you could charge me $300. I'd take it. So we got that. And all the stuff I like, they have this Jerusalem bagel. Michigan was like, eh. Got a pretzel. Very good. But the stuff she was like, eh, eh, eh. But... We walked home in the pouring rain. Now, I have these boots from Solomon that I wear all the time. And someone taught me, I think it was my mom, she said, you have to stuff it with newspapers, and then when you keep replacing the and it soaks up all the water, and it gets out, and you don't have mildew in the shoes. So I was like, all right, I'll do that. Um, And I was like, okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, DJ Moore just had a big catch for the the Cardinals and the, 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 I'm sorry, I almost said the Redskins. The Commanders were playing for their, their first... They have a sold-out home opener, which hasn't happened in a while. Well, you got rid of Dan Snyder. And um, what I see that Brian Robinson had a touchdown on the first play. It's good, man. Josh Dobbs is starting for the Cardinals. You got Jonathan Gannon as there as a coach. A lot of things happening. I mean, Coco Goff, one in three sets, lost the first set, won the last two. Sabalenka had come in to the U.S. Open final and lost one set. She, and then it was 4-1 in the third set. And Sala, uh, Bank, uh, Sabalenka decided she needed a court doctor. She needed a doctor to get a massage down 4-1. And I was like, Michigan was not happy. She thought that was a crock of shit. And I was like, really? Now 4-1 all of a sudden? She's cramping up so bad that she's got to get that done? I was like, that's bullshit. But Coco held on. She's now three in the world in singles and one in doubles. And there's a video they posted of her as a little kid. Federer, like, gave her, everybody gave her props. And then at, at the awards, Sabalenka said, you could have been this way when I was playing. Sabalenka, you're playing in the goddamn U.S. Open. In the U.S. What do you expect? You think they're going to be like, oh, yeah, Sabalenka, oh, we're going to root for you. Somebody from uh, Belarus, or they're going to root for a, a homegrown American woman who is the first teenager since Serena 
to win a U.S. Open as a teenager. And, you know, Coco, a lot of pressure on her, and she came through. She got it done. She played great. And it drives Michigan crazy because I get Twitter feeds before I get I get Twitter feed before the results we get on our TV. And she's like, God damn it. So we watched that. What We watched a lot of shit. Yes, we watched some tennis. We watched Michigan blow out UNLV 35-7. I saw the end of the UNC game. Deion Sanders, god damn, they, what was it, 0-0, then they, 36-14, it was a blowout. And Shadur, Shadur Sanders had 393, two touchdowns. Wheatley, one of his receivers, had a, had a buck 70. Travis Hunter had three catches for 73 yards, plus he had four, four tackles and a pass defense. I think he played 125 snaps this week. But they're 2-0, and and the last team to have win one game and win their first two games of Power 5 was the 2018 Baylor Bears in Matt Wool's second year in Baylor. They went 7-6, and 7-5, and 7-6, and they won a bowl game, 45-38, the Texas Bowl over Vanderbilt. So there's... So that's a good sign. So last year they won one game. They've already won their first two games. They host Colorado State. Then they get... Then they go to Oregon. Oregon scored 81 to Portland State last week. I was watching. They were losing to Texas Tech and scored 20 points in the fourth quarter, ended up beating Texas Tech 38-30. I think they were down 20-18 at the end of the year, and they came back. And at one point, the Pac-12 was 18-0, but then Arizona lost to in overtime to Mississippi State, where the quarterback had a fourth down play, ran it for a first down. I thought his knee went down before. I thought it was a good call. He didn't get it. They lost in overtime, and then Arizona State lost to shit. Who did they play last night? Oh, they played Oklahoma State, who had zero yards rushing in the first half, but they ended up getting the – they ended up losing Oklahoma State. But I saw, that Rashada kid – the kid who didn't, ended up who was supposed to go to Florida for like fourteen million, he looked good. I saw him play the first half, so I watched some of that. I saw Hawaii beat Albany. Albany traveled across the country, and Kirk Cousins just got sacked and lost the ball. And they said he what's he made two hundred thirty million dollars. They said he's up for a big pay raise. But this is it, I think, in Minnesota. And Tampa Bay is playing. I mean, they got Baker Mayfield. I mean, they're they came to, now. It's the first game of the season, but shit. And and man, Joe Burrow shows up like 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 a from a scene from Miami Vice. He's got a white sh- white shirt on under a jacket with the with a gold chain sticking out. They're zero zero. Cleveland I saw had a fumble. Jags are seven seven against the Colts. A lot of good games. Yeah, a lot of good games today, man. A lot of good games today. Yeah, and I saw I, I saw Gumbo Chef Friday night. That was nice. Did a podcast yesterday. I did a podcast yesterday too. Yeah, that was good. Rutgers 36-7 over Temple. They got a win yesterday. I mean, hey, listen, it was, you know, teams are looking good. Yeah, 14 black quarterbacks now. Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs, Hurts, Jalen Hurts, Eagles, Lamar Jackson, Ravens, Dak Prescott, Cowboys, Deshaun Watson, Cleveland, Russell Wilson, Denver, Geno Smith, Seattle, Desmond Ritter, Atlanta, Joshua Dobbs, Arizona, Justin Fields is Chicago, Jordan Love, Green Bay, Matt LaFleur, the Green Bay coach, is 8-0 against the Bears. Bryce Young threw an interception I saw for the Panthers, C.J. Stratford, Texans, and Anthony Richardson for the Colts. Yes. Yes. He's the middle, and, and Sean Strickland is the middleweight champ. And uh, Aunt Andreas Hale said that Eric Nixick was incredible in Strickland's corner. Stellar job for one of the biggest upsets. Yeah. And, uh, Adesanya did not bail the presser to be with his loved ones, but he was a class act afterwards. I mean, Adesanya's face was all blown up. You could see he took a lot of shots, and he, he told the cat crowd to pray, you know, to cheer for Strickland, which they did. I and mean, Strickland's a tough guy, man. Michigan couldn't stop staring at one of his ears. One of his ears looks totally destroyed. I mean, it was... So he's going to go against uh, Drickus uh, Duplessis, who was supposed to get the fight, but then was injured. That's why Strickland got the fight. So we'll see how that goes. And it, Adesanya, someone's saying he could fight the winner of uh, Ch- 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 Chimaev versus uh, Paulo Costa. I guess we'll see how that goes. And he joins Matt Sira. So Matt Sira beat, uh, beat uh, St. Pierre, who, you know, the guy, St. Pierre, George St. Pierre, 
at UFC Welterweight Championship by TKO in the first round at UFC 69. Think about that. UFC 69. 